my name is Quack Spear. I'm having a wicked good day because today we are back with Quack Craft and we are starting another mod today. So I did have Botania going. It's looking pretty good. We got quite a bit of mana in here and things are going well. Um, obviously I could start doing, I don't know what that particle was, but oh, well, that's cool. It's just we got, we got a bunch in here. Um, not a bunch. We, we, we can always get more, but I've been throwing coal on here and getting those going. And these bushes died, so I got to replace those at some point. But yeah, so we have this going. It's looking good, but I also built this new area over here matching this side. But the goal today is to start plant tech. Now, this is a very interesting mod. Now, I, I tried looking up tutorials for this, but most people really don't show you exactly how to do this um, or how to like really get this going. They just tell you the basics and they don't really show much of it they kind of just show you what you need for it so i'm going to try to go over this with you guys and kind of get things going it is a very tedious mod so beware if you are going to start doing this one just know it does take work it's it's not easy um let me throw the food in here first actually i'm going to cook some of this because i need it i need food um i'm tired of freaking dealing with um what do you call it the berries so tired of the berries all right in here let's throw all this in here uh, I don't want the berries anymore. I need this. Um, berries, berries, berries. I'll just hold on to a few of them. I don't want to hold on to all of them. I'll just hold on to 64. That looks fine. Um, but you just have to... I have this sorting thing now, which is super awesome. Because I really don't have to deal with stuff. Go in here, throw that there. Okay, cool. So what we need is we're going to need this seed. Now, you get this seed from breaking grass. You run around breaking grass, and it kind of just poops itself out other than like normal basic minecraft seeds and what else you're going to need is paper so we're going to need one piece of paper now you go over to a crafting table place this in here place it with the seed and you get this thing called an invitation so the invitation is pretty much the literal as it is pretty much just what it says it's an invitation so you right click with it and it tells you exactly how to start so we need to make this thing called a compost bin which then gives us these uh what, do you, what are they called the biomass is what, what we get so let's create this first so we're gonna need six seven seven wood and a dirt block so you're gonna want to make uh just quite a few of these not a bunch like a ton but you're gonna want quite a few because you need to make a bunch of biomass so i'm gonna make i think We'll make six because why not so this is four five and six and then we're gonna put the dirt right here and boom okay we got six and then we're gonna come around over here now we're gonna go place it up here where i'm deciding to put all my plant tech uh for now for now at least because i think i'm gonna need a lot bigger space um like obviously that's gonna move like things need bigger space at some point but right now i think we're gonna be fine with just this so we have six here so now if you right click on one of them you can see you're supposed to put stuff inside it what you're supposed to put in here is pretty much like food and stuff like you can see here uh, you put in the wheat apples etc so you can put all kind of like i think um i think i can put sugar cane can i put sugar cane I'm gonna see. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't tried sugar cane, but I have a bunch of it, so I'm curious if I can. Uh, let's try it first before I collect all that. Can we? Can we do it? Boop. Is it gonna start? No? Hello? Dad dang it. Okay, you can't put sugar cane. Um, that sucks. I really want to do sugar cane because I don't want to have to use wheat. I like the wheat because I use it for the chickens down below. So I didn't really want to do that, but it looks like we're going to have to use wheat for now. Um, oh, <gasps> maybe I can use saplings. All right, let's check this out. Can I put saplings? Please? Please? God damn it. Okay, I can't put saplings either. All right, so what I guess I'm really going to have to use is wheat. I should probably start a carrot farm as well. Like, I have enough sugar cane to last me like 8 billion years. But, you know, um, we, we got to start. Don't do this door freaking door every damn time it literally likes to play traps on me if i didn't lag but every time i step on that thing and walk forward it just glitches all right so we have six so three four five six cool and now we got five for each one and it did not do what i wanted so boom there's five. Oh, there we go okay see it's loading right here you'll see that little green thing so we're gonna do this and each one to just fill them up and essentially we're gonna have to just kind of wait for these guys to create biomass which will then put around a bookshelf which I think I have I think I have a bookshelf 
Um, actually, I want to cut these down real quick while while I'm thinking about it. We kind of we got to set up. Um, what do you call it? Carrots. So, because we're gonna need stuff for this, biomass is gonna be really really helpful in plant tech. Um, and I don't think I need this much sugar cane. Like I I don't know. Um, never had the issue before needing it. So let's break all this crap. Boop boop boop. I don't know why I'm lagging so much. Could be just my internet connection. It is kind of stormy out. Uh, the weather's not been very nice to me, so let's kind of break this up because we're gonna, we have to wait anyway. So I, I, I'm sorry if this seems a little boring, but at least we're getting something done. Um, I should probably fill this up. So I need dirt. Oh, I have dirt. Hell yeah, I got dirt on me. All right, we're gonna move this here. So we're gonna leave. Um, where did I put them in here? I left it in the corner. So oh, actually, I kind of wanted that there, didn't I? All right, so let's put this back. We're gonna need one back in this corner, and this one, and then this one, and then I had, what, two in the middle. So actually, this is kind of a really good setup. I don't really have to worry. And I'll leave the blocks below, in case I ever do need to um, make this a sugar cane again. Don't really have to worry about it. So break this one. Now we gotta turn this all into farmland. Do, 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 do. Chop, 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 chop. I absolutely love this thing. I think it's a matic is what it's called. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not sure what it's called. Um, what is it called? Ah, it's a matic. Yeah, a matak or whatever you want to call it. Bum, bum, bum. I'm from up north, so I butcher like everything I say. I, I don't really have the accent, so <laughs> that when we drop all the R's, I sort of some somehow managed to avoid that. I, I don't know. All right, so let's go see how much they have up here. Bum, 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 bum. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, we got two. Hell yeah, we can start. We can start this beautiful nonsense. All right, let's eat this up, get our berry going. All right, let's head down. We got that going. I'm gonna go actually throw the carrot down real quick just so we don't have to deal with it. All right, so carrot and potato have been planted. So now what we really wanna get going is our bookshelf with the biomass is what you told us. And boom, we got our guide block volume one. So now with this, this is literally what I was saying with the books on the wall there. This is literally what you need. So we're gonna come up here where I have everything stationed so far. And I'm just gonna place this thing, we'll place it right here for now. So when you right click this, it literally opens one of 59 pages to plant tech. And the best part is if you hit the back arrow to go to 59, there's a guide block energy, which literally, look, volume two. This is what I want to show you, volume two. That's how freaking intense this thing gets. So, oh my good Lord, I don't know what is happening. Go back to one, okay. No, yeah, okay, cool. <sighs> so, this is a very, very intense mod. Now, the only thing you really gotta pay attention to is what you need first. So, I was very unsure where it was like compost bin, and it shows you infected ores, so you could start making ores and stuff, which is what we're gonna do now. But another thing you need to pay attention to is that this requires energy, which is in, if we go back here, this stuff, bump it up, sell, it's in uh, short CE. It's a cell energy, which is what we're gonna need at some point. And we kinda gotta get that thing going because if we don't get that going, we're gonna be really, really behind. Because it this is a this mod is not like something you do in like two minutes to get going. It's something you gotta like really pay attention to and know what you're doing, which is why I'm doing this with you guys, because this is not easy. It's not easy at all. So um I need to make a crafting table because I'm really getting sick of running all the way down here to do this. So Oh, let me grab all these. Oh, I had some on me. I should have saw that. All right. Um, crap. Yeah. We see. This is this is where I start forgetting things. Um, yeah, I forgot what we needed. Oh, we're doing infected ore. Is what we're gonna do. So to show you guys what infected ore is, if we we don't want iron, what do we want to get more of? Tin, tin, copper, copper, iron, lead, and silver. Oh, we can do uranium. We'll show you uranium if it works. Will it work with uranium? Let's try it. So we put one here and we got to put the four around it Yeah, okay, it's not gonna work. Maybe it only works with vanilla Hmm. All right, so what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Um, bum, 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 bum. Ah, that's what I need to do. I need to grab this because we need to make a tool that uses where is it? Not smite diamond emerald luck. We need to we're on modifiers, right? Yeah, we are. Silk touch. We need a silky jewel. What the heck? What do you? How do you get a silky jewel? All right, let's look this up. Silky. 
Okay, we need silky cloth. Oh, shoot, we don't have an emerald. Damn, okay, well, that really sucks. But either way, I wanted to show you guys what it was, but we'll do it with iron just to show you how it looks. I want to do it with diamonds so I could, like, get more loot from that. All right, so we're going to do it with iron just to show you how this sucker works. We're going to put one, two, three, four around it, and we get this little green line, if you guys can see that, around the ore. So once you grab it, um, just for decoration purposes, um, I'm going to grab one. Uh, we'll grab one of these just for now. Um, run all the way back up here. Dig ourselves a little hole in place. Oh, no, 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 no. See, this is where I was looking up tutorials and it got confusing. But we do not need that. We need dirt. Is Oh, my God. No, we need that. Uh, we need dirt. We need that back. So, boop. thank you. So, this... Oh, you almost got me, you bastard. Um, oh, Jesus. I freaking hate that door so much. I gotta fix it. It's so freaking frustrating. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig a spot here. Grab some dirt, so throw it here. There we go. And then we gotta till it, and then we can put. Come on. There we go. I did it. Awesome. So let's break this and make sure I did it. Farmland. Awesome. Cool. So you gotta place it on farmland. Now I don't know why. I guess it's because all the other mods require, well, all the other the other bits of this mod need it to be on farmland because it is flowers. So it makes sense. But to place it on here has to be on farmland and it'll eventually start overgrowing this and once you break it you get like double like three or four times the amount you get normally which would be one so you get like three or four instead of one which is really really cool so you can do it with diamond and emerald and start making like mass production of this goodness so we're gonna grab the rest of these i kind of wish the tops of these would change color so you knew when it was like, there's like nothing in it, but it's fine, it's whatever. So we're gonna keep going. So that's how you get the overgrown. You can obviously make biomass blocks. Um, it's used as soil for some flowers. Okay, that's cool. It's used for like the mother plants, which we'll obviously go into along the way. Um, another thing is metal mass. Now, metal mass, um, I don't know why it says is the consistency of jello biomasses, which I guess is kind of cute. You don't really ever know, I guess. But it's used to make other stuff like the biometal mass for technology stuff. So we're probably going to have to start making stuff like this. So we're going to have to go grab some coal, some iron, and a diamond. Do -do -do. I think we're going to need five because I saw on the other page we needed four. So hopefully I have enough diamond. Yes, I do. Awesome. And I did find some diamond down in a mine, which I haven't picked up yet. Because I kind of want to do this overgrown thing with it. But I need to get that silky stuff first. So i got to find emeralds before I can start that. But um, I completely forgot to grab the other stuff. Alright, back with iron and coal. So we need to place our crafting table, which I still have not done. There we go. Now, if I remember it correctly, it was like so. Hopefully. Oh, no. We need the iron. Yes, cool. We got the metal mass. Awesome. And then what do we have to do with the metal mass? We place it around this so it becomes the bio metal mass. Okay, that's okay. So click on this, place it here. We're going to take the bio mass. Awesome. So we got the bio metal mass. Awesome. That is freaking cool. It just sounds cool. And then with the bio metal mass, we are going to need to put that around it and we need the biomass block. Good lord, we need to get more wheat. So this is what I was trying to tell you guys, is where you're going to need to like really make a lot of these compost bins. Um, so just beware, you gotta, you gotta, there's a lot to do for this, which is why you gotta um, be kind of set up already. Obviously I didn't do it beforehand because there's a lot of steps to starting this. And just getting it started like Botania is not easy. It is really not easy getting things started. But it's nice to show you guys exactly what we're doing because I, I had no clue, honestly. I was trying to figure this out myself, reading, uh, watching tutorials, reading through it, and it was kind of getting a little difficult. But once you come in here and you get kind of this thing by yourself and start reading through it, it makes sense. But, you know, I'm, I'm a visual learner, so I kind of like watching people do it, and then I kind of learn from their steps. So hopefully this helps you guys out. So I don't know why this doesn't tell me a name. I think it might have to have water. I think it's going to keep growing. We'll check later on through the video. But um, we need to get more of this stuff because we need to make more blocks. So we're going to need a bunch. Yeah, we're going to need a hell of a ton. So I'll be right back as soon as this stuff is done. All right, so we got eight blocks right now. And we got some biomass left over. 
we have our four diamonds now let's check and see exactly what I needed to make this thing again we needed the four the okay that in the middle um, wait, what was the point of this now that we have biomass why not make a block of it wait why the hell oh my god okay so it was literally no reason to make that oh my god I should have paid attention oh okay sorry guys I really apologize for that one there's honestly no point of making that thing not that I know of at least it doesn't seem to be very relevant to anything um, either way, we got blocks of biomass now. Uh, like, I guess that's great for some reason. Um, so what we got to do now is get this thing called a powderizer. Now, this thing is apparently what it does is extracts metal from the soil. Now, I don't know exactly how this works because I was trying to get it set up. But before we get the powderizer and then the metal extractor, which pulls the powder out of the that powderizer. Um, and then gives you these things the actual metal powder that you can turn into ingots Before we can do all that we need to get something called the energy going which isn't for a long while in this book Which is right here the energy extractor But first before even that you need something called the Sun collector now This is an actual flower that you then place the energy extractor next to which starts pulling um, this stuff out of the Sun energy which is really cool because the Sun energy then gives you these basic blocks you can do to power the machines so in order to get that going we're gonna need some iron and we need to have the uh, yellow dandelions I'm pretty sure is what it is so we gotta come all the uh, uh no 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 who the hell are you you can get the hell out of my home sir what the frick? Mutant Steve? <gasps> he broke my pressure plate? Um, I think not. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. I was so worried. I was so worried. All right. So what we got to do next is the dandelions. We have four of them. So we can only make four of the flowers right now, which is fine. There's no issue with that. I kind of got to go find some more because um, I never collect the flowers. They're like the last last thing I kind of want to collect. Uh, but we get these things called sun collectors. And we have our soil, which is pretty good. So now if we run all the way back up here, bump it up and on, we can start placing these suckers. So we're going to want our collector. I guess we'll put it right here for now. And we'll put our four dandelions around here. So we'll put the one, two, three, four. Okay, that really doesn't matter how that works. Um, and I'll grab this and I'll place this back here because we're going to put our, our collector, our extractor right there. So before we do that, though, we got to till this and quickly throw these down. Boom. Just like that. Now, a cool thing with these sun collectors is you can give them bone meal. See how it says zero percent. So you can give them bone meal till they're mature and then the extractor will keep doing it. I'll show you guys that in just a sec, but we want to make the extractor really quick, which is. There we go. Where was it? There it is. Energy extractor. So we're going to need this, those metal pieces, which we create from metal gear. So we're going to need five and then biomass. Okay. And then we need, how many do we need for it? The extractor, we need three. So that's 15 and then, yeah. Okay, cool. So we should have enough. Oh crap. I got, I got to go to bed. I got to go to bed quickly. Come on, grab this stuff. Awesome. Now let's run down, let's get some sleep real quick so monsters don't come out and eat my booty and we should make those. All right, so now we come in here and grab our metal. We have a hell of a lot of metal, so I have no issue with doing this. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just do six in case. Uh, yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was seven. So we'll grab all these gears and we'll place them here in one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two. There we go, and two. Awesome. So now we have these plantalized iron gears. Just to plant, plant it, and let it grow. These drops can be used in crafting. Wait, hold on. So if we grab four, can they be? They're obviously gonna be planted, but hold on one gosh darn second. Let me grab some bone meal and see if this is how this works. Um, where is my bone meal? We got nine. Okay. Boop, boop. 27. That's probably not good enough. We'll grab that. Okay. So we got 55. Let's run up here and plant these suckers and see exactly how they grow. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. So, um, I have four. So we're going to need one, two, three, four. And from here, we're going to place the dirt 
And then we need to be able to till these things and put them quickly. So four, then one, two, three, four. Awesome. Okay, so can we do bone meal on these? Okay, it doesn't look like we can do bone meal on these. So we're going to have to wait these suckers out, which is really going to suck. Ah, oh, crap, but I can't show you this then. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I'm willing to wait this. So um, I'll be right back. Um and see exactly how far these suckers go. Oh, sorry, I have 14. Um, but anyways, I'll be right back when these guys are kind of full grown and I can see exactly how we extract them because I'm not entirely sure. So I will be right back. All right, so while I was away, um, I did create a bunch of things. So I had to make this. This is with the metal shell. So let me show you exactly what I did. Um, I thought I was recording and actually I wasn't. So I made more of these. I made more metal gears because I needed to create this, the metal shell. So I had four ingots and made those gears, made the shell, and then made the biomass around it, which made it look like this thing, which then I planted on farm land soil. So it can, it's technically what they call a plant. So it's growing to then drop itself. But these things are still doing their thing. It's taking their grand old time literally forever for these suckers to grow and I collected more dandelions to get these guys going so when I do put the sun extractor here it does collect the energy um, this is not growing I'm not entirely sure why I think I need to have water with it um, or maybe it just takes literally eight years but honestly I have zero clue why this isn't happening Okay, that was the arse magic thing. But yeah, this thing's just not growing. I'm so confused. I have zero clue why. But either way, it's, it's not happening. But this stuff is doing its thing. I'm going to have to end it here, though, because this episode is running a little bit long. Um, I might go a little longer, but I do have to eat dinner and stuff. So I might call it quits here. Uh, we will be back next episode is continuing this because this needs to get going because I can start making resources with this get this energy going and start creating cool enchantments which I can use there's a lot of cool stuff with um, plant tech that's pretty fun to do and I like showing you guys exactly what we're doing so anyways I'll look more into the details of everything and show you guys that so that's pretty much the starters to this and I also did want to show you one last thing before we end this is when we go through here I'm gonna put my stuff back because there's no reason to hold it and I did move all of my botania stuff back up there with the botania items up there so now we don't have to worry about space with that put the Sun collector we're literally gonna put all this stuff back in here put the flower in here uh, up here we're gonna put all this junk away we have bone meal uh, what else do we have we have literally raw resources you can throw this here, that there. What do we, have? we have more torches than God knows. Okay, um, I'm gonna put this here. Actually, oh, we can make one more picture frame. I forgot. Let's, we need to make one more because we now have a new book. So we need sticks. I'm pretty sure is what we need. Sticks, sticks. Awesome sticks. Now we're gonna put this around in a square. Put this here. Come on, listen. Item frame. Grab this book. Well, actually, the invitation back. Might as well, just to show where we started stuff. So now we got literally three of them. Got some really good stuff going with these three. But we're obviously going to hang some more books when, as soon as we get them. But I wanted to show you guys this. Now, obviously, you know I have the chickens. I have endless amounts of iron. Um, I have a bunch of gold now. But they only come in nuggets. That's just why I'm trying to make so many of them. And I have some coal ones going now, which is where I get all my coal from, which is super cool. I killed all the normal chickens, so we have flint. Um, really no need to have the normal ones unless I just, I have a bunch of eggs anyways. And then I have some red ones down here. Um, now the point of the red ones is to get a glass chicken. Now if I can get a glass chicken, I can then get nether, I'm pretty sure. Um, if we at chicken... Now, where would no? I can try to go for diamond is why I want. I want gold and glass. To get glass, I need redstone and nether quart. But to get redstone, it's sand and red chicken. So that's what I'm trying to tame there. So if we run down there really quick, just to show you guys. See, hopefully we can get it because maybe you guys are my good luck charm. That's what I'm really hoping is happening. So come over here. We need to go with you and you. Come on, poop out a gold, poop out a glass one, please. All right, one happened there. Come on. I'm really hoping we got a glass one. Did we? Did we? No, we got two more baby red ones, which is fine because then we can do all four. Ah, oh, that really sucks. All right. Oh, well, we're trying to we're trying to get it. It's, it's going to take a little while. Is that really a red chicken? I put red on an egg. It is red chicken. Okay, because 
to get red chicken. Yeah, that is red chicken. Unless we need this. Oh, are you serious? Hold on. Where's red? Red chicken. Oh no, red egg gives red chicken. Okay, that's fine. No, okay. I do have the right chicken. Thank God. I was honestly terrified. But we have a lot of stuff going down here. And on the other side, we also have diamond chickens going. Now, this is a different mod. This isn't through chickens. This is cock, oh, cock and ordu. Now, this one, they don't collect. Oh, my good lord. Holy crap. It's collecting it from upstairs. That thing collects far. I think it's 9 by 9 I'm pretty sure. It's like a big collection space. But either way, we have these chickens. And in order to get an actual diamond, we have to collect 9. So what you do to get this chicken is you just have basic chickens. Like basic Minecraft chickens. Grab the ore, right click them, and they turn into whatever it is. So I had like one diamond, right clicked a normal chicken, and I got this guy. A diamond chicken. Who poops out these diamond eggs. But you need 9. Thank you. We need nine to, in order to actually get a diamond. So they're a lot different. So if you have a bunch of normal chickens and actually diamonds to spare, then go for it. By all means, get yourself some cool chickens. But I just, I don't have the, enough enough diamonds to do that. So I'm just trying to get the, the other ones because they seem to be pooping out better. I don't know. I really like the other one because you get to like breed them to make them. I don't know. It's fun. But either way, the episode has gone on long enough, and you guys have seen some pretty cool stuff so far for Plant Tech. And we're going to start, like I said, we're going to do more in the next episode. Unless you guys want to see another mod, um, I'm really for showing more of it, because it's a lot of fun so far. Getting things going. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you so much, all of you who are subscribing. It literally means everything to me. But I really appreciate all of you who do. I'll give you guys the shout outs you deserve. Thank you so much for all of you who said you liked the videos. I really appreciate it. I'll, I'll shout you out in the next one. I don't have it up at the moment. But yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next one. And yeah, see you.